The USS Nimitz is a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier in service with the United States Navy. The lead ship of the class is named after World War II United States Pacific Fleet Commander Fleet Admiral Chester W. Nimitz, who was the last living U.S. Navy officer to hold the rank. With an overall length of 1,092 feet and full load displacement of over 100,000 long tons, the Nimitz-class ships were the largest warships built and in service until USS Gerald R. Ford entered the fleet in 2017. Instead of the gas turbines or diesel electric systems used for propulsion on many modern warships, the carriers used two A4W pressurized water reactors which drive four propeller shafts and can produce a maximum speed of over 30 knots and maximum power of around 260,000 shaft horsepower. As a result of the use of nuclear power, the ship is capable of operating for over 20 years without refueling and are predicted to have a service life of over 50 years. It was categorized as nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. Nimitz is now the oldest U.S. aircraft carrier in service. The Nimitz-class carriers have a lifespan of approximately 50 years. Nimitz herself is projected to be replaced around 2022 by the Gerald R. Ford-class aircraft carrier USS John F. Kennedy, CVN-79. The exact date of the ship's inactivation and decommissioning will likely depend on Defense Department funding considerations. The USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, CVN-69, known informally as Ike, is a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier currently in service with the United States Navy. Commissioned in 1977, the ship is the second of the 10 limits class aircraft carriers currently in service and is the first ship named after the 34th President of the United States, Dwight D. Eisenhower. The vessel was initially named simply as USS Eisenhower, much like the lead ship of the class, Nimitz, but the name was changed to its present form on the 25th of May 1970. The carrier, like all others of her class, was constructed at Newport New Shipbuilding Company in Virginia, with the same design as the lead ship, although the ship has been overhauled twice to bring her up to the standards of those constructed more recently. Since commissioning, Dwight D. Eisenhower has participated in deployments including Operation Eagle Claw during the Iran hostage crisis in 1980, as well as the Gulf War in the 1990s, and more recently in support of U.S. military operations in Iraq and Afghanistan. The carrier currently serves as the flagship of Carrier Strike Group 10. The USS Carl Vinson, CVN-70, is the United States Navy's third Nimitz-class supercarrier. She is named for Carl Vinson, a congressman from Georgia, in recognition of his contributions to the US Navy. The ship was launched in 1980, undertook her maiden voyage in 1983, and underwent refueling and overhaul between 2005 and 2009. Carl Vinson's call sign is Gold Eagle. Besides deployments in Operation Desert Strike, Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation Southern Watch, and Operation Enduring Freedom, Carl Vinson was involved in a number of notable events. The body of Osama bin Laden was buried at sea in 2011 from the deck of Carl Vinson, and that same year, on Veterans Day, she played host to the first NCAA basketball game on an aircraft carrier between North Carolina and Michigan State. The USS Theodore Roosevelt, CVN-71, is the fourth Nimitz-class nuclear-powered aircraft carrier in the United States Navy. She is named in honor of Theodore Roosevelt, the 26th President of the United States. She is the fourth ship named in honor of Theodore Roosevelt, three bearing his full name and a fourth with just his last name. Another three U.S. Navy ships have Roosevelt in their names in honor of members of the Roosevelt family. This carrier's radio call sign is Rough Rider, the nickname of President Roosevelt's volunteer cavalry unit during the Spanish-American War. She was launched in 1984 and saw her first action during Operation Desert Storm in 1991. On 28 December 1990, Theodore Roosevelt and CVW-8 deployed for Operation Desert Shield, arriving in the Persian Gulf on 16 January 1991. With the commencement of Operation Desert Storm on 15 January 1991, 
Theodore Roosevelt began combat operations, eventually flying over 4,200 sorties, more than any other carrier, and dropping more than 4,800,000 pounds of ordnance before the ceasefire. On the 28th of February, after the September 11th attacks, Theodore Roosevelt began her seventh deployment on the 19th of September 2001 with Carrier Air Wing 1, CVW-1. On the night of the 4th of October 2001, Theodore Roosevelt and CVW-1 launched the initial strikes of Operation Enduring Freedom against Al-Qaeda in Afghanistan from the North Arabian Sea. Theodore Roosevelt spent 159 consecutive days at sea, breaking the record for the longest period underway since World War II. The USS Abraham Lincoln, CVN-72, is the fifth Nimitz-class aircraft carrier in the United States Navy. She is the second Navy ship to have been named after the former President Abraham Lincoln. Her home port is Norfolk, Virginia, and she is a member of the United States Atlantic Fleet. She is administratively responsible to command Naval Air Forces Atlantic, and operationally served as the flagship of Carrier Strike Group 9 and host to Carrier Air Wing 2 until 2012. She was returned to the fleet on 12 May 2017, marking the successful completion of her refueling and complex overhaul carried out at Newport New Shipyard. On 5 May 2019 USS Abraham Lincoln was deployed to the Middle East as the flagship for Carrier Strike Group 12, and Carrier Air Wing 7 assigned to her. The USS George Washington, CVN-73, is a United States Navy nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, the sixth carrier in the Nimitz class and the fourth US Navy ship named after George Washington, the first President of the United States. The contract for George Washington was awarded to Newport News Shipbuilding on the 27th of December 1982. Her keel was laid on the 25th of August 1986. She was christened on the 21st of July 1990 by First Lady Barbara Bush, and she was commissioned at Naval Station Norfolk on the 4th of July 1992. In 2006, USS George Washington became the first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier to be forwarded and deployed at Naval Base Yokosuka, Japan. Since August 2017, the carrier has been in her four-year refueling and complex overhaul, which is expected to be completed by August 2021. The ship can reach speeds of over 30 knots, and is powered by two Westinghouse A4W nuclear reactors, and has four five-bladed propellers of 66,220 pounds each. This means that George Washington can travel more than 3 million nautical miles before needing refueling. On the 22nd of May 2008, while the ship was off the Pacific coast of South America, a fire broke out and injured 37 sailors, with no fatalities, in an incident described by the Navy as serious. According to a statement from Naval Air Force's Public Affairs Office, the fire broke out in the ship's air conditioning and refrigeration space and an auxiliary boiler room. The fire spread through a cableway and ventilation ducting and caused extreme temperatures in some parts of the ship. It took over 12 hours for the crew to contain and extinguish the fire. George Washington was one of several ships participating in disaster relief after the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami. While docked for maintenance in Yokosuka, she detected radiation from the Fukushima 1 nuclear accidents and was ordered to leave port before schedule with a smaller than normal crew to avoid the radioactive plume. The smaller crew was unable to continue to provide aid. George Washington deployed in October 2016 to Haiti to provide support after Hurricane Matthew, along with USNS Comfort, TAH-20, and USS Maysavert, LPD-19. USS John C. Stennis, CVN-74, is the seventh Nimitz-class nuclear-powered supercarrier in the United States Navy, named for Senator John C. Stennis of Mississippi. She was commissioned on the 9th of December 1995. Her home port is temporarily Norfolk, Virginia, for her scheduled refueling complex and overhaul. After her overhaul she is scheduled to return to Bremerton, Washington. The mission of John C. Stennis and her air wing, CBW-9, is to conduct sustained combat air operations while forward deployed. The embarked air wing consists of eight to nine squadrons, 
attached aircraft on ABM Marine Corps FA-18 Hornet, EA-18G Growler, MH-60R, MH-60S, and E-2C Hawkeye. On the 21st of May 2001, the ship served as the world's largest and most expensive outdoor theater for the world premiere of the Disney film Pearl Harbor. More than 2,000 people attended the premiere on the ship, which had special grandstand seating, and one of the world's largest movie screens assembled on the flight deck. On the 30th of March 2011, a VMF-8101 FA-18 Sea Hornet suffered an uncontained catastrophic engine failure, exploded and caught fire just before launch from John C. Stennis about 100 miles off the coast of San Diego, during launch and recovery training operations. The aircraft was at full power, in tension on the catapult, when the accident occurred. Eleven flight deck crewmen were injured, while the pilot was unhurt. There was no major damage to the carrier, but the aircraft was a total loss. On the 7th of January 2012, John C. Stennis led the rescue of an Iranian flag fishing vessel, Al Molahi, following her seizure by pirates. The pirates ambushed the ship and Iranian flag to search for other ships to hijack while holding the original crew hostage. When some of the pirates attempted to board a Bahamian flag cargo ship, Sunshine, she radioed for assistance. John C. Stennis dispatched a helicopter and cruiser to assist. A boarding party captured the pirates who attacked Sunshine, fed them, then released them temporarily. A helicopter then secretly followed the pirates back to their mothership, Al Molahi. Crew from the destroyer USS Kid then boarded the fishing vessel, upon permission in order from the captain, and arrested all of the pirates with no casualties. The USS Harry S. Truman, CVN-75, is the 8th Nimitz-class aircraft carrier of the United States Navy, named after the 33rd President of the United States, Harry S. Truman. The ship's call sign is Lone Warrior, and she is currently home ported at Naval Station Norfolk, Virginia. Harry S. Truman was launched on 7 September 1996 by Newport News Shipbuilding, Newport News, Virginia, and commissioned on 25 July 1998 with Captain Thomas Otter being in command. President Bill Clinton was the keynote speaker, and other notable attendees and speakers included Missouri Representative Ike Skelton, Missouri Governor Mel Carnahan, Secretary of Defense William Cohen and Secretary of the Navy John H. Dalton. Harry S. Truman was initially the flagship of Carrier Group 2, and, beginning 1 October 2004, of Carrier Strike Group 10. Beginning in 2001, the Harry S. Truman Carrier Battle Group participated in Operation Joint Endeavor, Operation Deny Flight, Operation Southern Watch, Operation Enduring Freedom Afghanistan, Operation Iraqi Freedom, Summer Pulse 04, and NATO Operation Med Shark Slash Majestic Eagle 04. In the first half of 2016, Harry S. Truman, as flagship of Carrier Strike Group 8, carried out an eight-month air operation deployment against ISIL from the eastern Mediterranean as part of Operation Inherent Resolve. The ship has been the flagship of Carrier Strike Group 8 since June 2014. The USS Ronald Reagan. CVN-76 is an Emmitz-class, nuclear-powered supercarrier in the service of the United States Navy, the ninth ship of her class. She is named in honor of Ronald W. Reagan, President of the United States from 1981 to 1989. Upon her christening in 2001, she was the first ship to be named for a former president still alive at the time. As of May 2012, the ship was operationally part of Carrier Strike Group 9, and administratively under the command of Commander Naval Air Forces Pacific slash Commander Naval Air Forces. The two administrative titles actually refer to one command carrying out two functions. In October 2015, Ronald Reagan replaced us George Washington as the flagship of Carrier Strike Group 5, the only forward-based Carrier Strike Group home ported at Yokosuka, Japan, as part of the United States 7th Fleet. The ship departed for a nation deployment on 2 February 2011. On the 11th of March 2011, Ronald Reagan was in the Korean Peninsula region for a long-planned exercise off Korea, but was redirected towards Japan, 
to provide support after the massive 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami. The ship stationed off Sendai served as a refueling station for Japanese Coast Guard and military helicopters on relief missions in the area. U.S. Navy helicopters also flew relief missions from the carrier. On the 13th of March 2011, the ship measured 0.6 mR per hour direct gamma shine from clouds 130 miles from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Members of the crew blamed their cancers on the event. On the 14th of March 2011, the ship was forced to relocate to avoid a radioactive plume from the Fukushima 1 nuclear accident which had contaminated 17 crew members of three helicopter crews. On the 23rd of March, Ronald Reagan's crew performed radiation decontamination by scrubbing down any surface that could have been contaminated, including the island superstructure and flight deck, to remove any potential radiation hazards. On the 4th of April 2011, Japan's Minister of Defense, Toshimi Kitazawa, accompanied by US Ambassador to Japan John Ross, visited the ship to thank the crew for their assistance as part of Operation Tomodachi, said Kitazawa, I have never been more encouraged by and proud of the fact that the United States is our ally. The ship returned to San Diego on the 8th of September 2011. In January 2011, the Navy announced that the aircraft carrier would be transferred to the Puget Sound Naval Shipyard in Bremerton, Washington, for scheduled repair and maintenance beginning January 2012. The USS George H.W. Bush, CVN-77, is the 10th and final Nimitz-class supercarrier of the United States Navy. She is named for the 41st President of the United States and former Director of Central Intelligence George H.W. Bush, who was a naval aviator during World War II. Bush's call sign is Avenger, after the TBM Avenger aircraft flown by then Lieutenant George H.W. Bush in World War II. Construction began in 2003 at the Northrop Grumman Newport New Shipyard's Dry Dock 12, the largest in the Western Hemisphere. She was completed in 2009 at a cost of $6.2 billion and her home port is Naval Station Norfolk, Virginia. New features include a bulbous bow design that provides more buoyancy to the forward end of the ship, and improves hull efficiency, curved flight deck edges to reduce radar signature, a new underwater hull coating system, deck modernized coverings to reduce ship weight by 100 tons, low solar absorptive and anti-stain paint, a less cluttered hand bay, and a new propeller design. George H.W. Bush is the second carrier to have a modernized island, which includes a new radar tower. Enclosed to reduce radar signature, navigation system upgrades, communication systems enhancements, and armored windows. The island is smaller and has been repositioned further aft to improve flight deck access and reduce signature and electronic self-interference. New air operations design features include an updated aviation fuel storage and distribution system, semi-automated refueling, and servicing with new deck locations to provide faster, more efficient aircraft pit stops, requiring fewer people, modernized aircraft launch and recovery equipment, and redesigned jet blast deflectors. USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, is the lead ship of her class of United States Navy aircraft carriers. The ship is named after the 38th President of the United States, Gerald Ford, whose World War II naval service included combat duty aboard the light aircraft carrier Monterey in the Pacific Theater. Construction began on the 11th of August 2005, when Northrop Grumman held a ceremonial steel cut for a 15-ton plate that forms part of a side shell unit of the carrier. The keel of Gerald R. Ford was laid down on the 13th of November 2009. She was christened on the 9th of November 2013. Gerald R. Ford entered the fleet replacing the decommissioned USS Enterprise, CVN-65, which ended her 51 years of active service in December 2012. Originally scheduled for delivery in 2015, Gerald R. Ford was delivered to the Navy on 31 May 2017 and formally commissioned by President Donald Trump on of July 2017. She is expected to leave on her first deployment around 2022. 
As of 2017, she is the world's largest aircraft carrier and the largest warship ever constructed in terms of displacement. Gerald R. Ford is intended to be the first of a class of aircraft carriers that offer significant performance improvements over the previous limits class. Gerald R. Ford is equipped with an AN Spy 3 and an Spy 4 active electronically scanned array multifunction radar, and an island that is shorter in length and 20 feet taller than that of the Nimitz class. It is set 140 feet further aft and 3 feet closer to the edge of the ship. Replacing traditional steam catapults, the electromagnetic aircraft launch system will launch all carrier aircraft. This innovation eliminates the traditional requirement to generate and store steam, freeing up considerable area below deck. With the EMALS, Gerald R. Ford can accomplish 25% more aircraft launches per day than the Nimitz class, and requires 25% fewer crew members. The Navy estimates it will save $4 billion in operating costs over a 50-year lifespan. According to an Associated Press story, she is truly a technological marvel, Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Jonathan Green had said in a webcast ceremony at the Newport News shipyard where Gerald R. Ford is being built, she will carry unmanned aircraft, joint strike fighters, and she will deploy lasers. These performance enhancements were problematic in Pentagon tests, but final software fixes for some of the problems were delayed until after the ship's post-shakedown availability in 2019.